in East Harlem and we are starting a new series where I go into local New Yorkers neighborhoods and explore where they live and go to some of their favorite locations. And today we are meeting with my good friend Laura Perucci, a New York City influencer in her East Harlem Manhattan apartment that is $2,800. It's a two bedroom, two bath. We're going to do a little tour of her apartment, learn a little bit about what it's like to live here in East Harlem and go to some of her favorite spots. And by the way, if you enjoy this type of video, please give this video a like and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. First, let's head to Laura's favorite coffee shop. Super nice to get some coffee and donuts. She said the donuts and croissants are incredible here. Laura, I'm here with your favorite donuts. Really? <laughs> Hi, oh. hello, so good to see you. Say hi, hi Elvin. Look at you. I'm from Brazil and I'm a journalist and content creator. So I brought you two of the best flavors. Right here we got a pecan croissant and then this is a pecan donut. They said it was really delicious. So let's get a little bit into the house tour. Yeah. Let's just talk about the basics. So how many bedrooms, how many baths, uh, and how much do you pay? I have two bedrooms, two baths, which is like luxurious. Yes. I think it's a little bit over a thousand square feet. Oh, okay. And we pay $28.50. You can get more amenities and more space for like less than you pay, let's say, in the Upper East Side, which is the location that I used to live before moving here. It's very convenient as well. With the subway nearby, I can get to like Midtown in maybe 10 to 15 minutes. I'm near Central Park and I basically have everything that I need. So you guys are on a higher floor and you look yes. out to the city, which is nice. Of course, everybody dreams about a view, about having this. I never like wanted that, but once I had it, like it kind of be become like a deal breaker for me. And it's not like a special view. I don't have like Empire State Building views, you know, right? Yeah. But you know, like being able to see mm -hmm. like outside the streets, it's... It's a game changer. It just it improves your mood. The light, I didn't realize, makes a lot of difference on your daily routine. After I moved to this apartment, especially like with the pandemic, that we, we spend a lot of time inside our houses. One thing that really stands out to me is how much thought that you put into your decor. Mm -hmm. Like your living room here, beautiful furniture, but you also have really interesting local art. Mm -hmm. I love this New York piece you have on the wall here. I mean, I love New York and I try to bring that to the decor of my apartment but I don't like obvious things yeah. you know I like creative things every time I see something like about New York I'm mm, that's good for my apartment yeah. you know look at she has a New York oh, on her yeah, necklace yeah, that's true. <laughs> so here is like I made it wash and dryer are behind this door yeah. when you made it in New York love yes. that yes and this is my bedroom which I consider like huge yeah this is a really good size like we put this huge wardrobe here it's good how you have the mirror because then you have a full body mirror but you also it makes this space look larger i think yes yes yeah. true true and we have a bathroom here too yeah it's really perfect so, in that way yes. look at Del delvin he's so happy yes. He's like, I'm home, yay. So what's it like living in New York with a dog? Was that challenging? How have you adapted? In the beginning, like, it is challenging, but because like I never had a dog before. Yeah. Uh, but, but I mean, it's so fun. There are so many things to do with your dog here and our building, that's something that you have to consider too. We have, you have to ask your landlord, you accept dogs or yeah. cats. And like in our case, they said, you can have any dog, any size, any breed. So that's amazing. That's most, amazing. Most yeah. apartments, they have limits on dogs. Like I know in my building, my building, they the dog can't be over 30 pounds. Oh, Please yeah. explain how the subway works with the dog. Cause oh, I don't think yeah. most people know this. If you want to like bring your dog to the subway, the dog has to be in a container. Yeah. So we have a bag for him and he fits perfectly. Again, I have a lot of meaningful things for me. This is a quote that a friend gave to me. This is like from an Instagram. Is uh, this your quote? No, it's from Why I Love New York City Instagram with, with 
happens to be my friend as yeah. well. Floating shelves is such a good hack in New York City because it saves so much space. Yes. Yeah, yes. so highly recommend that. And this is actually very like fun. I, got, I think I got an Etsy. So it's like the sky, like the stars when I met my husband. The night that I met my husband, that was like so romantic. Is this like a fake balcony? What is happening here? I it's a door, I'm... but it's like a yeah. not, or it's not a full balcony. It's just like, yeah. it looks like a balcony, but it's not a balcony. Okay, now we're in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Tell me all about it. This is your like specialty. Laura's a great chef. Yeah. These things blow my mind. They're like little spices that are New York City very well. efficient. The spices are like stuck yes. to the fridge. I yes. love that. Everybody loves this. Um, and I like to put like, pictures and cards um, here so I always see and remember yeah. moments, you know. These are from me. Yes. <laughs> New see, New York? Yes, exactly. <laughs> As you said, I love cooking um, and I realized that when you have a lot of appliances, it's good that you have them, you don't have to like reach out to them on the cabinet, you know, because otherwise you're not going to use it. So I like to have everything here. I have the solar, solar stream to make my own sparkling water. I'm obsessed with this. I make my own kombucha. Here's kind of like my coffee station. I got this cute art from Amazon, I think, with all the coffee recipes. And I love this, this concept of open kitchen. Yes. You know that I host a lot of dinners yeah. here and usually everybody stays here. We, we can like have a conversation while I'm cooking, you can see the TV as well. So I love this, you know, I love when the living room is connected to the kitchen yeah. and you can see everything. We have more space. Now let's move to the second uh, bedroom. Uh, here I have the second bathroom. So this technically isn't a bedroom though. I see you've created it into an yeah, office. Yes. As you know, I work from home, so we have this home office. I got this countertop from Ikea. This is actually a kitchen countertop. So I have my station, another New York thing. Oh yeah, this is cool. Look at that. The taxi goes around in a circle and everything. Yeah, I love that. More New York themed decor. This is more New York themed art here, like yeah. goes through the alphabet and has different New York themed little uh, pictures. So that's pretty much it. I love it. Your apartment's so minimalistic, classic. Thank you so much for showing it to Thank me. Thank you. I hope your audience likes it. And if they have any questions about living in East Harlem or if someone lives in East Harlem and have great recommendations, I would love to hear as well. Yeah. So Put that in the comments. Oh, yes. Put that one in the comments. My recommendations in East Harlem are Urban Garden Center. Like if you love plants, you definitely should visit this place and it's family owned. So that's good. You're supporting the neighborhood. This spot is 20,000 square feet, three generations now. Here you can get everything from succulents to air plants to cactuses. Look at this. <laughs> and one of the unique things is take a look up. That is actually Metro North. So we are underneath the Metro North train line. They even have a soil bar. I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, I, I'm all about bars, but soil bar? Never heard of it. There is a pizza spot, Patsy's. We got pizza this place once, was really good. And from what I heard, they are very like classic, traditional spot. We are here at Patsy's, a East Harlem staple since 1933. And we got their coal oven pizza here. This is what they're known for. We did a half and half. Traditional side here, and we have a margarita. Cause you know, if you go to the original spot, you gotta get what they're known for. So this is one of the first places to sell pizza by the slice in the United States. This looks absolutely delicious. So let's try it. Mmm. Nice and cheesy. You have that nice crispy crust right here. Super tasty. If you're in the neighborhood, definitely come here. It's a classic spot that you absolutely need to try. In Central Park, I feel that a lot of people that visit New York only go to like those same spots in Central Park. They don't go beyond 86th Street, what is uh, the Metropolitan Museum. So here in Harlem, help it. No. 
In Harlem, you have the Conservatory Garden, which is a spot that a lot of people don't know about it, which is beautiful, especially in springtime. A lot of people actually get married there. So the Conservatory Garden here in Central Park is such a hidden gem. I mean, look how beautiful this is. This was actually built in 1937, and there are three different types of gardens in this area. Right here, we have the French Garden, and the Center Garden is the Italian, and they are currently working on the English Garden. This was originally supposed to be a greenhouse, so it looks a lot different than the more natural looking parts of Central Park. You'll notice that it's beautifully designed. You'll also notice that the entranceway is a beautiful gate donated by the Vanderbilt family. So this is a very historic area, great place to get married. This is a spot that you don't want to miss when coming to Central Park, but it's one that most people do. So add it to your list. Harling Mayor is a great place to have a picnic. They have a lake and they have ice skating in the winter at the same spot. One of the awesome things about Harlem is you are so close to Central Park. It's literally in your backyard. Central Park is iconic. And I'm here in Upper Central Park, a place that a lot of people don't visit and they should. Right behind me is the Harlem Mirror. This spot is filled with all types of wildlife. You have turtles, you have eight different types of fish, a lot of different birds, and you can go fishing here, which is super fun. They have a little Swedish cottage over here. And one of the fun facts about this this area is there's actually old 1800s forts from the War of 1812 here. You can actually go up one of the hills and go into an old fort from the War of 1812. How cool is that? So another place is East River Plaza. A lot of people don't know we have a Costco in Manhattan, probably the only place, only location that they have here. It's huge. Uh, they also have like a huge Target store, probably the biggest one in the island. Thanks for joining me in East Harlem. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.